Hi, this is Peter Reynolds, and I am in my studio in Dedham, Massachusetts, not too far from Boston, and I wanted to reach out and read together with you. So uh, let's get started. I am going to choose a book. Um, it's not going to be the dot, although you might know the dot. And it won't be the word collector, but I wanted you to know that I love words. I love, love, love words. And it's not going to be you, which is my latest book, Be You. This is about how amazing human beings can be, right? We can be so many things like being a reader, right? And being generous and sharing, sharing your stories with, with those around you. But today I wanted to share, say something, where is it? There it is, say something, right? The world needs your voice. Yes, yours. So hopefully this book will inspire you to share what you're thinking and feeling what you're dreaming. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead, it doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. And you don't have to be loud, right? Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. You certainly can use words. You can use action and creativity. If you see someone lonely, what do you think you could do? Right, you can make them unlonely, right? By sitting with them. You could say something by just being there with them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush, right? That's what I love to do. I'm an artist, so I have my brush handy, so I like to say, say something with color. If you see an empty lot, Say something by, by planting a seed and watching it grow. If you see someone being hurt, like this boy right here, say something by being brave. Hey, stop. Be nice to that kid. Let that kid go. Hey, kid, come with me. Right? We'll, we'll plant a garden together. If you see something beautiful, you could say something with a poem. Painted meadow splashed. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! Scientists love saying Eureka. It's one of their favorite words. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! And she's wearing her peace shirt. She's got a little button that says push forward. And she's a pretty creative, snappy dresser, don't you think? I think you could tell she's a pretty creative person. If you are angry, say something to, to help people understand. And this boy says, you made me feel invisible. And that really hurt. And this boy says, I'm really sorry. I didn't even see you standing there. Hang out with me. Let's, maybe we could make, make some comic books or something together. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Inspire others to do the same, right? There are lots of different ways, right? Can you see that? There are lots of different ways of saying love and peace. Sometimes you'll say something and nobody will be listening, but keep seeing what's in your heart and, and you will find somebody who listens. And, and see that? Little girl, she finally finds a little bird. One little bird to listen to her words. Now, keep saying it. Right? That's the trick, right? Keep saying it. Never stop. Keep saying it. You may be surprised to find the whole world listening. Check this out. Look at all those. Look at all those birds listening to what this girl has to say. If you are grateful for being alive, Quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Thank you. There she is up atop the mountain saying thank you. Some people find it easier to say something than others. Right? Some people think it and some people say it. But everybody, everybody has something to say. Even that little bird. So when you're ready, you can help me with this one, okay? So 
when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? Peter Hamilton Reynolds, and that is me. And this page is for you. The last page is for you to say something. Of course, if you own the book, you can write in it. If it's a library book or a school book, you can make a copy of that page. I give you my permission. And you can fill it with what you are thinking, what you're feeling, and what you're dreaming. So share that with the world. Make this world a better place. Use kind words, kind actions, and your creativity. Make this world a more colorful place. And please consider me a friend on the journey. Anytime you want to reach out and hang out with me, right? You just have to just have to open up one of my books and I will be there with you. So let's keep reading together, everybody. Uh, share positive stories and be kind to each other. And we are going to change the world and make it a better place.